<coughs> right, I'm just going to quickly do inside St Andrews, just in case someone comes. You can never talk properly. I found it was open. I'll, I'll go round the outside with the video in a minute. Apparently, it's the Church of Listock St Andrew, a redundant church. It holds one service a year, but it is loved. You can tell. Look at these lovely roses around the archway. And these lovely little pots look for possibly having a drink if you wanted to. A wine. Little wine goblets. Little stained glass window there. There's been church here since the 10th century. And there was probably one before that. On the Anglo-Saxon site. They're freely giving their little um, leaflets. I'll take one away with me to study. I'll just do the basic video at the moment. There's a little plaque on the wall there. St Andrew's little stock. It's got some big memorials on the wall to the Buller family in memory of John Buller of this parish who died November the 10th, 1765, aged 78. And his wife looks like Jane. And they've got sons John and William and, and, jo and George. Then we've got um, the body here, lies the body of, looks like Joan Pop Popham, who died January the 5th, 1713, aged 18. Here lies the body of Richard Popham, who passed away December the 2nd, 17, it could be 18, age 21. They were very young, so it could be there was a plague or something. And here lies the body of William Popham, gent, who died August the 17th, or it could be the 10th, 1727, age 64. So they're, they're quite remarkable, aren't they? Aren't they? Those ones. The nice little scary little feature that they often did have in those days. Lots of decorations around it, look. Ah, looks pretty old arch. What a lovely place to be, close to the sea, close to the hills. Very peaceful here. Another quaint little window there, look. Don't, until I read the booklet, I won't really know. I'll add them um, when I do the video um, to CD and to um, the computer. I'll add information when I read the booklet. Lovely little pews with seats. Lots of evidence of spiders, which if it isn't used very often, that's all we can expect. When here I pass a little church, I always pay a visit. So when at last I'm carried, I'm carried in. The Lord won't say who is it. Oh, that's good, isn't it? That's very good. I put a little thing there. Beautiful location, tucked quietly near the sea and near the hills. And we've got a great big book, huge booklet. You know. Sometimes they have families, uh, obviously family Bibles. And that's got some people's names written in it there, look. I can't read because I didn't bring my glasses. The book Prophet Haggle. A little wooden scenery there. It's probably had more decorations in the past, I should imagine. Something once hung on here, for example pictures. St Andrew Littlestock, restoration of this church was made possible by the generosity of the Reverend Rex Hancock, 1993. And Arthur Booker, born 27th of August 1927, died the 20th of May 2004, in loving memory. Rest here in peace. Yeah, there's lots of spiders, look. There'll be big ones. I suppose I've got some on me because I've been wandering about. Oh, I don't like them, mind, I don't like them. That's a nice looking cross there. 
You know, I wouldn't be sure some don't get on me. I, I don't like spiders. Well, thank you for letting me come in, little church. I'll let the spiders rest in peace with you here. Yeah. You've got to shut the doors sometimes because the bats and birds get trapped inside. So, um, I'll shut that up. You could go, she didn't do a lot. Well, I could have sat in there, look, and sorted me, um, other camera out. I might, I might do that in a second. I'll just have another wander around doing the video. I've made a boob. I forgot to delete old stuff from the other memory and I've put other stuff on there which means you then have to go through in stuff individually and delete. Normally when I finished I delete the lot. It's all been saved to computer and disk. I suspect there's a few graveyards, a few graves in here at one point. So you've got a little road, a little path off there, look, you see. With the lovely Quantock Hills in the distance. And then you come in through this little gate. Welcome to St Andrew Church, Little Stock. There's been a church on this site since on or before the 10th century. There's some buller graves, I'm not going to go through them all, but there's two buller graves there, a thorn, and there's the lovely little church, look. Little bell, I wonder if that ever rings still. I wonder if that gets rung, but you can tell there's been graves here. Somebody will have a burial list. Um, I always think it's awful to get rid of the graves myself. I, I don't agree with it. I think it's terrible. It's a record in time, you see. It's a record. And look, once you've just got the grass here, that's it. People still come back to find themselves, or people like me are looking for other people, or I'm looking for my own people. That looks like a parrot there. Can't quite read it exactly. Thomas Perrett of this parish who died. <sighs> Can't quite read it. Looks like 1880 or something like that. And Anne, Anne, his wife, beloved wife, who died March 17th, 1871, age 70. Then we've got a Rawlings. I think it's Rawlings. And another parrot, Sarah Parrot of Sigursey. She died in 1905, age 80. Then we've got Wilcox, Alice. She died in 1925, age 54. And they've got a John somebody, I think. Or it might not be, it might, no, it might be in memory of somebody. And then, of course, you've got the lovely church. I've taken photographs as well because every big and small these churches all count if you ask me big or small there's been some sort of history here for a long time weddings have probably been here baptisms funerals and somebody is maintaining it I'm glad there is that society that look after redundant churches now. Because, I mean, once all these churches start going, um, you know, that's like a big, it's like a history book on its own, to be quite honest. Right then, let's come back round to me bike. Faithful old bike. 
Over and out for now then everybody.